Hey guys, John here, and it's now Thursday. It's Star Wars Thursday. Doesn't really make sense, but it is. Because <laughs> I don't want to do Force Friday, because that's already taken as a thing officially by Star Wars. So I don't want to do Force Friday. So I'm doing Star Wars Thursday. Thursday Wars. So I finally started getting in all the figures that I've been waiting for. Everybody else in the world has already got these. They've had them for months. I, mine were starting, we're saying like June, July, things like that. I've still got like Asajj Ventress that says July. I've still got Bo-Katan that says July. But people are all getting them now. Even pre-order people are getting them in the mail. And so it doesn't make any sense why mine are so delayed. But to my surprise and utter shock, Hunter and Crosshair showed up out of nowhere. Even though they were li still listed as showing up in July... Or June, I think these were showing to say in June. And then suddenly it went from June to tomorrow, and they showed up. <laughs> you know, no warning. Just one day they were suddenly June, the next day they were in your in your at your doorstep and taken off the pre-order list. So I think today we're gonna start with Hunter because he's the leader of the group. So we'll start with the leader. Oops, crosshair just died. And uh hope you guys enjoyed the show. Did you guys like the Bad Batch? I can't wait for tomorrow, Friday, to see the another part. What? Yeah. Yeah, I don't know if we should do Crosshair last or what. Hmm, what do you think? Because, you know, I don't know. <laughs> now nah, we got to do him um, next, I guess, after this guy. Well, well like, like, next week or whatever. Hunter! The Bad Batch, technically known as Clone Force 99, is a result of... Kaminoan experiments to create a specialized unit of clone commandos. Hunter, their leader, is a strong, stoic soldier with extraordinary keen senses that give him an edge when tracking down his targets. Awesome box. He's number one of the Bad Batch. Here's that barcode in case you guys want it. Great artwork on the side, like I said. Star Wars Bad Batch Hunter. And he is number one in the Bad Batch series. Let's get them open. Wow, this guy's really cool. I really like this helmet. Look at that helmet design. Pretty cool. The paint app on it's nice. He's got like a half skull kind of thing. Go in there. This nifty backpack. Looks like it clips on to his back like that. Pretty neat. And then we have, looks like a clone commando blaster rifle type thing. The clip sticking out the side. And we have a clone pistol. Looks like standard equipment here for the clone pistol. And a knife. Some kind of design on the blade. Maybe it's an electro blade or vibro, vibro knife. Looks like the knife can fit in a sheath on his arm. I don't see anywhere else to put any weapons, though. Does he have to hang on to the pistol and the the gun, then? Hmm. But Hunter looks pretty cool. He's got this half-marked painted face. He's got the 99 shoulder pad here. Little spot for his backpack to go in. The boots and armor are pretty cool. Yeah, all in all, it's pretty neat. He's got that bandana on, like Rambo. Pretty cool. So let's check this out here. We're going to put the, the dagger in here. Shink. That's pretty cool. It slides right in there. That's neat. And then we're gonna check out this helmet. Oh, it fits on pretty good. Nice and snug there. Comes on and off, very nice. Yeah, really cool. 
And I like these shoulder flaps so they can go up with the arms. That's really nice. She's got a little bit of butterfly action. There's, a, there's an interesting joint in there on the shoulders that we're not used to in our Black Series figures. So they've done some additional work on the joints. The knees have the new knee joints and then these stay out so you're kind of hiding the joint with the armor which is pretty cool and they don't look bad from the back either so that's pretty nice. It's got the really good ball joint ankle here so this is one you're going to be able to put into a lot of different positions which is really nice. Yeah. Great job there. Yeah, as near as I can tell, there's really nowhere to put that blaster, the pistol. He should have had like a, you know, a little holster for it, right? That's the word I'm looking for. Hunter, we'll give you a 360 on. Okay, never mind. Hunter, we'll give you a 360 on Hunter here. <laughs> for real this time. Yeah, <laughs> just pretend that didn't happen. It didn't. I don't know why we didn't cut it out in editing, but, you know, whatever. The Bad Batch has had a bad fall. Yeah, Hunter here looks pretty cool, in my opinion. I like the Bad Batch. I, I have, those since the uh, seeing them at the Celebration special. But when I, the, to, when I saw them... I was a fan of the Clone Wars already, and I was a fan of the clones. So, to me, when I, when I first found out about the Bad Batch, it was like the ultimate clone troop. So being a fan of clones, it made me just love these guys right away, and I've been anticipating this show for years. And now that it's finally here, I guess anticipating seeing them in the Clone Wars for years... And now that we saw them in season seven, I was I was just super excited. And then to to actually hear that there's a series, I was like, what? No way. So this is really cool in my opinion. And to my friends Derek and Daryl who went with me to that that uh, celebration in Anaheim where we saw these guys for the first time. I mean, the three of us were just blown away, and we've been we were just waiting for them to show up on the Clone Wars. It was like, when they finally did it, we were all just chatting and calling each other, like, oh my gosh, it's so cool, they're here. The Bad Batch is finally here, you know? <laughs> so I know we're all, we've are all we all been anticipating this show, and uh, yeah, can't believe this is actually coming true and we're getting figures. Because we were even talking back then about having figures. Like, we were discussing what characters you could buy that were currently out and how and which ones you could customize to actually create the Bad Batch back in like 2015 or whatever, you know? So to finally have Hasbro make figures and proper ones of them is just so cool. So hey, yeah, hi Derek and Daryl, shout out to the Dunning twins. And uh, cool, yeah. All right, guys, thanks a lot for watching. I really appreciate it. I'm John. I'm out of here. Thanks for checking out Star Wars Thursday with me. And, uh, yeah, I think um, we might have just, we might end up with a free-for-all Friday. I'm not sure what we're going to do yet on Friday, but I'll see you guys tomorrow. Bye-bye.